Hey, back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. This time we have Sierra Droid ROM 11.2 based on Android 15. Many of you actually asking me to review this ROM. So I have been using this ROM few days now and it is working pretty well actually. So let's check what we are getting with this ROM Redmi Note 8 and if we check our Android version. So as you can see here Android 15, Sierra Droid version is 11.2. The secret patch level is 5th of February 2025. So it is a latest build of Sierra Droid ROM. And the UI is pretty much similar to all AOSP based Android 15 ROM, so pretty similar. And for customization, we have Sierra Droid setting, so there are tons of customization available. One thing which is really good on this ROM is that it is pretty smooth. Everything works pretty well, as you can see here. It feels like you are using another device, like everything works pretty well, as you can see here. I don't really see any kind of hiccup or anything like that. There was no lag on this ROM. It's working pretty well. So in terms of Wi-Fi mobile data hotspot and bo lte bo wi-fi everything working perfectly fine i did try them and in terms of sound and vibration working as you can see here no issue in the display section adaptive brightness is working and dark mode we do have double tap to work and double tap to sleep working perfectly fine no issue so these things are working and if we check wallpaper and style so change wallpaper we don't really have any kind of ai wallpaper on this rom but built-in wallpaper as you can see here there are few wallpapers available and for other features we can check more log screen option there are few other things like dynamic lock wake up setting and few things but there is no aod on this rom in terms of battery the battery is doing pretty pretty good actually we do have few options here battery optimization and few other things adaptive charging but no fast charging here too only 10 watt but the battery backup is pretty good. I haven't faced any kind of battery drain issue on this ROM. In the system setting, we have few options here. So in the gesture setting, we do have few options here. As you can see, quick tap to start action, uh, double tap to take a screenshot. That is a Bible. So you can double tap on the back to take a screenshot. As you can see here, it is working perfectly fine. So that is a Bible and working. And there are few other options too. And also one thing I haven't mentioned is that sidebar. So sidebar is working perfectly fine. You can turn it on. And when you open fully, you can use any application from here and it will open on the smaller screen as you can see here. Looks good and works perfectly fine. So sidebar option is available. In terms of security and privacy, we do have both face and finger pin unlock. Finger pin unlock working perfectly fine. No issue, pretty fast and reliable. And also you can set up your face unlock, but face unlock will be a little bit slower side. We do have private space here as Android 15 based ROM. And that's it. There is nothing much going on in the setting panel. In that section, we are not getting a lot of them actually. There are a few applications here. And we do have MIUI camera here, which is working perfectly fine. I haven't faced any issue with this. So working, as you can see here. So the camera is working. And I did install a Gcam here. Gcam is also working. So as you can see. So camera is working perfectly fine. No issue. In terms of calling, I did make phone calls with this. So as you can see here, phone calls, call details and other things, incoming call. So I did make phone calls, Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi working and call recording as you can see here, is working. So call recording is also working, no issue. And we do have safety net here. So you can use bank application here and you will not face any kind of issue with that. So as you can see here, device is certified. So there will be no compatibility issue of application. So you can use every application here. And the photo section, we do have unlimited storage. As you can see here, unlimited storage is available. But unfortunately, Magic Editor is not working. So if I try edit and Magic Editor, got it. And so it crashed the application. So one issue I have found with this ROM so far is Magic Editor is not working. Uh, beside that, actually everything is working perfectly fine. And the WhatsApp is also working perfectly fine. I did make phone call with the WhatsApp and everything is working. There is no issue with that too. In terms of gaming, the gaming performance is also really, really good. I did play Call of Duty here and it works really well. So for gaming also, you can try this ROM. It's a really good ROM. And other feature like we do have Circle to Search. As you can see here, Circle to Search is working. So this is a perfectly usable ROM. You can daily drive this ROM. I haven't faced any major issue here. Only issue I have found is Magic Editor is not working and the fast charging is not working. So these are the issues I have found 
beside that there is no issue and this rom is perfectly usable so i will put the rom link in the description below if anyone wants to try this rom thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one